This is a pretty sad story of a young guy who had a lot of potential, his whole life ahead of him, that got cut short because of some criminals. And I also believe because of the fact that he wasn't taught social skills. By no means is, is this his fault, but I want to, in this video, pay tribute to Paul Nugent. If you don't know, Paul Nugent is a 27-year-old young Asian guy. This could have happened to any one of my clients who is trying to figure out their dating life. Now, he goes there in November. He tries his luck on Tinder with a young woman, okay? They agree to meet at an affluent neighborhood called El Poblado. And during the date, he sends this little picture here with the girl apparently looking at her phone and the caption is the language barrier is unreal okay one of his really good friends he did the right thing when Paul didn't return to the hotel that night his friend grew concerned right he contacted a Median resident who had offered to show Paul and his friend around town and this guide went straight to the police okay but the police said you need 72 hours before you can file a missing persons report then his friend took matters into his own hands. He went through Paul's social media that he's posted that night. He found that picture and he actually went around town showing that picture to different people. And he finally located the cafe where that Paul had drinks with that girl. Okay, and then he tracked down the waiter who had served Maria and Paul. And then he found a new clue. He said, I told the waiter that I'm looking for this boy and this girl. And he says that they were here and that he waited on them. But he thought it was very strange that Paul had a lot of cash in his hand. Yet, when he paid the bill, Maria told him to pay by card. The waiter said that the last time he saw Paul, he, he and Maria were getting into a car. Okay, and then we find out that his credit card was used multiple times at an ATM during the night. And $500 was sent from PayPal to a woman named Natalia Andrea Arias. And then his body was found just a few hours after, five miles from his last known location. So his family actually wanted to file a police report. The Colombian police, they said that they didn't even open a case and the family grew agitated. They thought this was unacceptable. They actually ended up hiring a private security firm and this security firm went on a hunt to look for clues, okay? And here's what they found. The toxicology report showed that he had scopal, scopolamine, scopolamine it is also known by the street name of Burundanga. Okay, the most dangerous drug in the world because of the trance-like state that overtakes its victims. Another uh, report said that this drug um, makes the user will lose willpower. It's an easy way to control people to get them to do things. And then the DEA says many men who have difficulty finding love or potential life partner in cities and countries where they reside become gullible and easy prey for the violent gangs of Colombia. These criminals often use internet and beautiful women to lure them into elaborate and dangerous situations in order to rob and kill them. Man, this guy sounds extreme. It's extremely a good lure for these criminals, gangs, to use a beautiful woman. Okay, 190 cases so far this year, mostly from Tinder and Grindr. 27 foreigners have also been killed in 2022. At least four of these involved scopolamine poisoning. You can actually put these into cookies, candies, and even chewing gum. It would only take about 100 milligrams dose of scopolamine to be fatal once ingested. Criminals like scopolamine because it alters the will. It is a substance that makes the victim do what the criminal wants and it has a great impact on our memory. So the person doesn't remember what happened. One of the things that bothers me the most is the idea that we don't teach young men how to improve their dating lives. And this is the danger, one of the dangers. This is probably an extreme version of the danger, right? losing your life over but another danger could be being coerced or being taken advantage of emotionally so so you spend money on her uh, being asked to do something that you don't want to do and the way i know this is is not necessarily looking at their two pictures right his little snapchat post right the language barrier is unreal okay so i'm speculating here but because i have a lot of clients who work in california bay area in particular Here's, here's probably the story. If I were just to guess from the limited information that I have, Paul is a hardworking student. He graduated from a good school. He got a job in California. He's not having that much success dating in California, okay? Then he heard from his friends that, hey, things are easier in Latin America. 
So he books a trip to Colombia, and then he gets on Tinder, and then he's like, whoa, this girl who I normally in the States is out of my league wants to go on a date with me. And then as they're on the date, he takes a picture, I don't know if it's with her permission, and he says the language barrier is unreal, okay? What that really means is, he's probably trying to sound cool, which is, oh, I don't, she doesn't even speak my language, okay? But the unreal, I think, refers to this girl is beautiful, she's unreal, right? And that gives me the clue that he's probably thinking, wow, I've never been with a girl like this before. This is just speculation, but if that were the case, right, he would probably be more prone to following her directions, giving her the benefit of the doubt, okay, and just not being as careful. Now, to be fair, if I went on a Tinder date with someone and they slipped something in my drink, there's no way I can defend against that either. But what I would do is I would be like, why is this girl out with me? And does she like me for me? So first of all, if she doesn't speak English, what's the attraction here? You know, what's the logical explanation here? Do you like Asian guys? Are you attracted to my look? You know, I would use Google Translate. I would try to qualify her to see there was something about her history or experience that would draw her to a guy like me. Do you just like tourists? Like, are you curious about America? What's really going on? I don't drink alcohol, okay? The only thing I get is water. And if someone puts something in your water, the water will change color. Now, once the drug takes hold, right, people start losing their willpower. So I understand if she kind of lured him into the car. He did the right thing by meeting in a public place. Perhaps if I was in the same situation, the same thing would have happened to me. But as a coach, I just wonder, I wonder if, if Paul knew how to get girls, maybe he would have qualified her a little bit more when they were on their Tinder, right? Like, hey, where do you want to meet? What is it about me you like? Maybe you could have just screened her a little bit more while they were on the date. Like, does this girl like me for me or is she after something else? What is, what is her motivation? Maybe he would have been like, there are other girls, you know, maybe I'll, I'll go on a date, but I'll go out with my friends again. Or I might take her to go meet up with my friends later because I have abundance. Maybe he could have avoided this. Or maybe not. Maybe if I was in the same situation, maybe I would have ended up exactly where he did. But it just makes me wonder, you know. One thing I know for sure is the evidence that we have, which is this picture. I can tell you for sure that a guy who has abundance with women won't, won't post something like this, Okay because he doesn't need to prove to anybody or his friends or the world that he's out with a hot girl. He's just literally out with her. It's just like another day. And he would probably want to either take her home or go out and meet up with his friends to continue having fun that night. Ironically, this is a picture that perhaps helped them catch the perpetrator. But I wish this picture was never posted in the first place and he never actually went on a date with her. Or maybe he was on the date but he realized something was wrong he had some experience and he kind of, and he would just leave without getting into trouble. I don't know. What are your thoughts? Would you have fallen for this if you were in that situation? Do you think there was something that perhaps if you had social skills, you could have done to avoid it? Or am I being biased because I'm a coach? What are your thoughts? I would love to hear them. And my sincere condolences. I'm going to link to the GoFundMe page anyway in case they open it up again. But this just makes me sad because... I used to be Paul. I was that guy, you know, getting graduating out of school, not knowing how to talk to women and just being overall just like pretty needy and pretty wanting that affection, you know, and maybe even going to other countries and putting a lot of effort to create a situation where actually girls that I liked paid attention to me. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments.